It's been said that the future of power, performance, and productivity resides with NextFlex and its diverse membership network. Since the formation of this public-private partnership in 2015, there's been no greater contributor to America's re-emergence as an advanced manufacturing leader than NextFlex. NextFlex, America's flexible hybrid electronics manufacturing institute, combines printed electronics with traditional semiconductor integrated circuits and substrates that can bend, flex, and stretch. This, in turn, creates a new generation of out-of-the-box electronics for applications in medical wearables, satellite and aerospace, automotive, RF and communications, asset monitoring, and other rapidly evolving industries. My name is Wilfred Bayer, and uh, my position here is VP Engineering and work on systems for Flex Hybrid Electronics. So NextFlex is a consortium of uh, companies that was brought together by DoD as a public-private partnership to create a new generation of electronics. We have this new technology that's called Flex Hybrid Electronics where we build electronics not rigid but actually flexible. So you can bend it, you can fold it, you can stretch it, you can put it on textiles, you can put it on plastic film. It's very lightweight, so it's easy to use. So the first example here is an authentication device that is very flexible. It's built on a plastic film that you can integrate into textiles, like as a sleeve. It's very small, doesn't need any power, it's externally powered, and uh, is encrypted, so it's actually a very secure communication. And you can do this on a plastic film, and you can also do the same thing on the fabric directly. So you have two options of doing it. So what we have here is a silicon wafer. And the silicon wafer is the base material that silicon chips or computer ICs are made. Traditional processing, they are rigid and brittle like glass. If you drop them, they will shatter. So what we're doing is to make them flexible and conformal, we thin it down to a fraction of what the standard thickness is. And now you can actually take the silicon wafer, you can bend it, you can fold it, and it doesn't break. And it's about half the thickness of a human hair in this form. So we can design and we can manufacture prototypes. We can actually build medical devices in an FDA compliant environment. That's very unique. We can do low volumes and we can ramp up to uh, production before it transfers to somebody that makes millions of something. So we enable this transition into volume manufacturing. NextFlex convenes a community of diverse partners and contributors, including universities, nonprofits, government agencies, multinationals, startups, and mid to large sized companies. All these organizations have all come together to not only advance their own capabilities, but also to transform the extended manufacturing ecosystem into a cost competitive and responsive network of suppliers in the U.S. Central to this disruptive and innovative approach is NextFlex Technology Hub. At this central location, members and non-members alike are designing and fabricating fully integrated FHE devices. They are also conducting pilot-scale manufacturing that is accelerating the development pipeline addressing everything from research to the commercial availability of new devices. I'm Art Wall. I'm Director of Fab Operations here at NextFlex. We provide a lot of different capabilities. You can think of it in three different parts. First, there's print, where we create the circuit. Then there's assembly, where we create the product. And then there's test, where we make sure that the product delivers on the functionality that was designed for. There's a lot of different capability here, but let me give you an example. Within the print operation, there's a really interesting process called gravure offset printing. It's from Komori. In this, you take and create a master of the shape of the thing that you want to print, and that's in the form of tiny little grooves. The machine then spreads the ink into those grooves, an absorbent cylinder comes and picks up that ink and then rolls across the substrate and deposits it. What's cool about this, you're doing a whole sheet at once and you're doing it in very high resolution. We're able to print features down to 20 microns and below. I'm Alexander Cook. I'm an FHE process development engineer. And my role here is to basically develop processes which we can use in the fab behind me to develop FHE devices. So the Inscript tool provides a lot of our prototyping abilities. That ranges from being able to print silver traces to uh, 3D print uh, plastics. Unlike most normal machines, this thing has five different heads that you can put on it at the same time. Whereas typically with other machines, you have one head, you have to go between machine to machine to have these capabilities all in one spot. I am Fabian Schneck and my uh, position is a senior process development engineer. 
Well, we work on uh, trying to figure out assembly processes, especially on uh, my expertise area, which is the die attach area. We're using the die bonder, which is a high precision tool for die handling in total, which means uh, getting it off different areas and putting them on also different substrate materials. And it's also um, capable of doing dispense before placing anything down. So we can put down any kind of adhesives, conductive or non-conductive, and several versions of that, and uh, then put a die on top of that. What makes it unique for FHE is um, the machine can handle very thin dye, what we call ultra-thin dye, which means 50 micron thickness or lower. It can handle it, place it, and you don't want it to break. Right, so there is a lot of different mechanisms in this machine that make that possible. My name is Tao Li and position is an equipment process engineer. So I'm working on the universal um, equipment. Its capability is um, pick and play from tap and drill and play on substrate. And also it's able to pick from tap and drill and play is on a waffle pack and from waffle pack it can play on substrate as well. My name is Robert McManus. I'm an electrical engineer here. Uh, I do a variety of things from electrical testing to software development. The process capability, the FANUC, the industrial robot that we have provides is the ability to scale. So it allows us to do what we humans take you know maybe a long time to do, uh, say 10, 10 minutes or so, and does it in seconds, right? So we can do things um, which is to bring up FHE to a, a maturity that um, allows us to uh, go from tens of devices to hundreds of devices. The process capability the UASA provides is repeatable and reliable mechanical testing. We can do bend testing, elongation testing, and soon we'll be able to do a, a twist test. The significance there, or with these devices, is that it can focus the force of the bend where it needs to be. Unlike uh, other devices that we've seen or other jigs uh, where the bend is also applied to the connector or where, where the device is held, the tension-free mechanism that we have actually folds with the bend. So that allows uh, more accurate testing, more consistent, and we don't get, uh, say, false indications from so, sort of the edges. Still, while much has been accomplished, additional work remains. Leveraging the success of flexible hybrid electronics has afforded product manufacturers with lower costs, faster development cycles, and environmentally friendly manufacturing. Recently, NextFlex and its members have begun to widen their purview to address the corresponding societal, business, and workforce transformation. This concept is being driven by flexible hybrid electronics and other technology gains that are shaping our world in 2020 and beyond. NextFlex and its diverse membership are leading the way into a flexible future, transforming electronics into thin, lightweight, and conformable form factors that deliver on the promise of the Internet of Things.